Day two, Saturday. Maikai. Wakey, wakey. Now, will she be able to talk now? Are you okay? Date. Poggers! Date! <laughs> Looks like she can talk again. We love to see it. Aww. After she had calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Ota, and about Shoko. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. Different strings of characters and numbers continue to scroll. Oh god, okay, so I guess I guess talking to her is the thing we have to do, so let's do everything else first. Uh, how does Iber appear in Somnium? Uh, Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's Somnium. Part of Iba's self is also synced. But only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into Somnium. So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. Don't call me dumb. She doesn't seem dumb in Somnium. Uh, about Iba's appearance. She picks it herself, hey, Peter, right? When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. Well, yeah, because she can't look like that in the real world. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What part of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? Okay. <laughs> uh, about Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Uh, about that figure I saw. No, oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Okay, who do you think the suspect is? I don't know how we'd have any idea, but... <laughs> Pewter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see... Perhaps... 
It was you, Special Agent Dottie. Dun dun dun. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Unless? Unless? Future's standing with his hands in his pockets. Unless? These are all green again. Are they just going to say the same stuff? There's some indigenous jewelry from New Guinea. I think it's called a Koteca. Okay, that's new. Date, look, it's a brawn tube. Brown tube. Brawn. Ferdinand Braun, inventor of the cathode ray tube. I can't get my head around that one. Some people are obsessed with these. <laughs> a binder, psych manual. Turned off. I want to hit Date over the head with that. P pardon? F fucking what? Excuse me? What? Where did that come from? Many objects are scattered on the table. Fucking rude. Door leads to the sink room. You can see the sink machine through the window. Entrance. What's inside this? Sometimes a cleaning lady is hiding inside. That's disturbing. <laughs> Locker in the corner. All right, what's up, boss? Do, 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 do. About what I saw in Somnium. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Uh, about Mizuki's muteness. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. You got it. Boss is staring at Mizuki. Any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like a perfect, perfectly reasonable reaction to panic and do that as a kid. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Huh. So, the, they removed her eye and then stabbed an ice pick into the empty socket. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Okay, that's it for boss. Hey, can I pop this cherry? What? Date, you sounded quite proud of that pun. It's not even a pun. Like, it's not, it's not relevant to anything. He just looked at a chair and went, can I pop this cherry? Like, puns have to have some relevance to 
goings on. Perhaps you'd like to repeat it. <laughs> no thanks. It's not the same as the first time. Uh, how are you doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. Bitch, I just saved you from mutinous. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. She can. I see she is back to her usual. She's some self. kind of fucking smart ass. Her attitude is within normal parameters. All right, put her back in the machine. I need to re-traumatize her. I think I liked her better when she was silent. <laughs> Mizuki's lying in the chair. That doesn't look like lying to me. That looks like sitting, but sure. She seems to be doing okay, but she's got that gloomy look in her eyes. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother, well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. Uh, who sent you the, you the Nile message? I... I can't tell you. Why? Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. That's dumb as fuck, kid. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. Can Iba really not hack this information? I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. God I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. About the figure I saw. Say, Mizuki, who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream, I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Okay. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? She couldn't see. That's why it's a silhouette for us, because she couldn't make out who it was. I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. You hungry? I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stew. Stew? You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Summarize it for me. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. I feel like we should be pressuring her more about who sent the text message, right? Like, this is literally a murder investigation. Some kid going, nah, don't want to tell you, is not good enough, <laughs> right? Like, you got to be like, well, I'm sorry, but not telling us isn't an option. you got to fucking tell us, like. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? Could be the most vital thing ever. We're going back to the scene of the crime again. There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Mizuki's lying in the chair. Okay, well, I guess we are. <laughs> and away we go! Saturday, 8.13pm. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium, but I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Let's bring the fucking traumatized 12-year-old back to the place she watched her mother die. Well, she was already dead, but, like, the place she saw her dead mother. I'm not sure that's, uh, 
Well, I'm sure that's the best idea. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. That seems like uh, a little bit yikes. Bench to do, do. Ferris wheel, the eye that doesn't blink. Skewered horse, horse turned upside down. Looks like a sad, overturned insect. In Tokyo, even the nighttime is bright. Even in the patches of sky, I can't see the stars. Oh, a UFO. No, wait, that's a plane. Wait, was there more? How much fucking sky stuff is there? No, wait, that's a drone. No, wait, just a grandma. What? The grandma's booking it through the night sky. I must be really, really tired. <laughs> what? There are no stars tonight. Okay. Sure, man. Dude's off his rocker. Are you cold? What do you care? You never cared about me, ever. That's not true. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet, she likes me. Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you because you were standing right in front of me. Could have been anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. Wow, she is uh, a fucking mouthy 12 year old, huh? In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she said. Jesus. Yeah, probably not true, but still, fucking yikes. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I do. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom... Sag. What's wrong? Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Mizuki's looking into the bush, or maybe behind it? Wait! Oh, you fuckers, there was another option about the suspicious figure. But it's locked me out of her dialogue. Well, that sucks. Past the bush. What's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has, of course, closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Bloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Makes sense. The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? That also makes sense on how they'd get in and out without being seen. No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad crossing? Railroad crossing? Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Just one. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just having a mental chat. I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle yep. traversing that street Knew last it. night. Knew it. Knew there'd just be one. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Is it her dad? Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Fucking knew it. Renju Okiura. Let's go pay that motherfucker a visit. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. True. Yeah. Yeah. But probably not. <laughs> but 
In any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, he could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. Uh, about the suspicious figure. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... I don't know. Uh, when was the last time you saw it? I think about a week ago. When I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing, really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. Uh, when was the last time- oh wait, that's what- more dialogue for this? I don't remember, it was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Uh, about the Nile message. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? Ah. What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? See, the thing is, though, like... If he was the one there... And he knew he just summoned his daughter there. Like, a even if he was somehow caught up in it and somehow his wife got killed and somehow there was a reason that he was dumping the body, but like, it wasn't just dumping the body, it was like making a spectacle out of it by tying it to the merry-go-round and shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know how he can possibly not be evil, <laughs> but like... I also feel like that might be a little bit too obvious for him to just be the one that did it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime rate there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. Used his phone and his car now, right? And his car. Yeah. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. Huffing on that copium. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Man, there was Doctor, something else that we didn't get to. Call from the boss. There's, well, that's twice in a row we haven't been able to exhaust all our dialogue options. Feels bad. Because you don't know what's going to end the conversation and what's not. I thought the one on the right sounded like the most likely to end the conversation, so I left it to last and then we never got to do it. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Ima. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. Well, no shit, we don't have a second one. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Welp. Uh, why did you release him? I mean, legally, they had to, I guess. So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Any idea where he's gone? I don't think she does. No, I told you, he vanished. Right. Where are you headed? Renju's house. Don't bother. 
had local cops search the place. They didn't find anything. Yeah, well, I'm big brain. <sighs> Where could he be? Maybe I'll find something they didn't. Uh, about his alibi. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time, but that means no one can back up his story. Any CCTV cameras around his home that could have seen him going in or coming out or anything? He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. I can see boss through my left eye. Iba's streaming the image in real time. I don't have a cell phone, never cared for them, but Iba can connect to any network in range. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. To Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, sun poke? Pardon? <laughs> you want to poke me now? How dare you? What? Um, sun poke. Or something. Oh, sunfish pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north northeast in Akihabara. Hell yeah. Good old Akihabara. Sunfish pocket. Oh no! Oh no! Cover her eyes! Jesus! Jesus! Fuck, that's dark! That's so dark! Oh my god! I'm so sorry, kid! Literally seen both of her parents murdered in two days! That's gonna fucking scar you for life mentally! I mean, just one is bad enough! What the fuck is going on here? Jesus! Jesus, fuck me! On a fucking hook! What the fuck? What the fuckity fuck? That's some nasty shit! Holy fuck me, that oof. Oof, I did not expect that. Day three, Sunday. Sayo Kubai. I don't, know, I don't know what any of these words mean after the day one, day two, day three stuff. Police headquarters. Fuck, man, I feel so bad for her. Can you imagine? Can you imagine finding both of your parents brutally murdered? You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. A flag with big catch on it. Is there any point to re-clicking? Like, she has so much stuff in her office. And seems like everything's just gonna say what it is. Like, I don't know if there's any point to... Re-going over a lot of this stuff. A tombstone, R.I.P. Like, obviously, if there... Because sometimes there is dialogue hidden behind stuff. And I don't want to miss any of that. But... In this case, it seems like there really isn't. It's just a lot of t telling me exactly what I'm looking at. It's a floaty. Uh, you seem troubled, Pewter. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Uh, any thoughts on the culprit? Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko too. Yeah, and who's the third person who had their left eyeball removed? Hmm, oh right, me! So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. I don't think so. 
You're missing your left eye. But, like, that is definitely going to pl play a role. It's definitely tied to the thing that happened six years ago. So you steal them from others? I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Pewter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Correct. Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Why are you here anyway? Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Peter looks surprisingly serious. Uh About Renju. Eh, maybe that maybe leave that to last. What happened to Mizuki? She's sleeping at the hospital. She's gone mute again. God damn it. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. Yeah, you'd fucking wanna. I see. Her mother and her father. Yeah. I hope she'll be okay. How about you, getting any sleep? Of course sleep? not. I still got a mountain of work piled up. Answering to the higher-ups, the press. Well, I'm don't worry. taking a little breather. You don't have any bags under your eyes. You're still looking lovely. Sitting on a desk, she looks tired like me. Never mind, I guess she does look tired. <laughs> Just it doesn't... It is not reflected in the character model. About Renji. You were the first on the scene, so... You know this better than anyone, but... Renji was murdered. No way! What?! No way this is a suicide. Yeah, you think? And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. Tell me. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. Damn right I do. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. Interesting. So those are all girls, and then obviously Shoko was a girl, so Renji was the first dude to be killed? But they did have two things in common. They were all young women, and... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Huh. Pulled out posthumously. Huh. Interesting. They were all missing their right one. I am missing my left one, and the new victims are both missing their left one. Cyclops? Because they only have one eye, dickhead. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god ha. of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Children of the asshole. Cyclops were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. Yeesh. What happened? No. In six years, we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. 
No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. <laughs> really? Renju's not a woman? But, like, just because someone hasn't done something before does not mean they will not do it in the future. Like, that's... Like, is it a pattern that he only killed women? Yes. But, was there only four? Yes. So, it's not like it's a wide sample. Like, the fifth one could have been a man. If he'd kept going. Like... It, it might have just been that it was easier for him to pick on the women because they're less likely to be able to struggle and fight back, I guess? I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's a safe assumption to make. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. And again, like, I th obviously there's going to be a reason why it's the left eye happening at the moment, but if a killer removes all the eyes, or like one of the eyes from all their corpses, does it really matter? Like, I don't know. I feel like neither of these are conclusive evidence that it cannot be the same killer, you know? But Shoko and Renju... We're missing their left eye. Maybe he just the wanted to... The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. Maybe he just wanted to match up some pairs. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. You hate to hear that. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Yeah. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. That's what I said. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Oh, come on. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Date, please forget about it. Was it me? I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. That makes me think that you know it's me. And you know that I haven't been doing these murders. Or something. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories, all lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. Any other info? That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iba. Understood. No, actually, uh, sleep sounds good. <laughs> Alright. Back to Sunfish Pocket. Will the body have been cleared up by now? Meow. <laughs> <laughs>